So now the biggest problem with our mechanism, I'm going to click play again, is that you can see the arms just kind of fall through the floor. They're rotating around each other correctly, but they're not interacting with the floor or this long conveyor in the way you'd expect. So for that we need to define collision bodies. An object without a collision body will just pass through any other object, but an object with a collision body will collide with any other object that also has a collision body. That means if two objects are going to collide, you're going to want to define collision bodies for both. So I'm going to go up and click collision body here, and I'll start with the floor. And you can see I have the option to select a collision shape. You can find out more about this in the NX help, but each of these defines how NX calculates the shape of the body that you select. It's best to choose the simplest body possible, but at the same time you want your simulation to be accurate. So for example, if I were to select sphere for this, you can see in pink NX outlines where the sphere is going to be. So that's not very accurate. Box is definitely the way I want to go. You can see the, the pink outline is very close to the actual body that I have modeled, and box is also the simplest shape that I could select from these. I'm also going to say highlight on collision because I want to know when there's a collision, but I don't want to mod modify any of the physics. If you select stick with collision, then a force is applied to both bodies. I also have the option to set a category. Anything with category 0 will collide with any other collision object, but other than that, any other category will interact only with bodies in the same category. I want this to interact with everything, so I'm going to leave it at 0 and click OK. Now since I want the arms to collide with this, I also have to set collision bodies for the arms. I'm going to go ahead and select the long arm as our collision body. And in this case you can see the arm has a little bit of little bit of detailed geometry there. Our box that NX drew doesn't quite match up with the corners. Um, and in this case, that might be important because this is going to be rotating around. I want to make sure no corners are hitting anything. So instead of box, I'm going to go ahead and select mesh. And you can see that that hugs our part much, much tighter. I'm going to click OK, play the mechanism, and now you can see it highlights the colliding bodies in pink. I still have to define collision bodies for the small arm, but other than that, that's about what I was expecting. Go ahead and define a collision body for the small arm. Again, I'm going to choose mesh. You can see that's pretty close to what we have. Click OK. And now when I play the mechanism, the arms fall, collide with the floor, and that's pretty much what I was expecting. At this point, we're done defining physics, basic physics, for our mechanism. You'd want to go from here and assign position, position controls to control how the arms rotate around each other, uh, and translation, if this is your part and you want it to drop on this conveyor belt, you want to define where this conveyor belt is going to move, and we'll get to that in a later video. Thanks for watching. Remember, remember to like and subscribe if you like this video and want to see more like it, and if you have any suggestions for additional topics you'd like covered, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks!